Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Dean of the USC Viterbi School of Engineering, Giannis C. Yortzos. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends, and welcome to the 20, 2015 Viterbi Graduate Commencement. I wanted to mention that today is a very special day for Professor Gaurav Sukatmi because it's his birthday. He's becoming 21 years old. <laughs> so on the count of three, let's sing a happy birthday to Professor Sukatmi. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Professor Sukatmi. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it's nice to see all of you on this very important day. Commencement is a wonderful time of the year. For all of us, it's a time of a new beginning and goodbye to all friends. Students will graduate and carry with them all the experiences they accumulated over all these years from their interactions with faculty in the classroom and the labs. And in the fall, new students will join us, and this cycle will commence again. This is a renewal process. The farewell to the graduates and the welcome to the new ones that we celebrate every year. I want to congratulate every one of you on the achievement of earning a graduate degree from the USC Viterbi School of Engineering one of the premier engineering schools in the country. The class of 2015 includes members from more than 40 countries around the globe, including Mexico, New Zealand, Greece, Russia, Japan, and a few from China and India. <clears throat> Two hundred and twenty-nine have earned degrees via our nation-leading online program, Dan Adviterbi, our nationally ranked top distance education program. And fifty-seven of our graduates maintain a perfect 4.0 GPA. You know, getting a perfect GPA in engineering is not exactly the same as getting a perfect GPA in another discipline. I'm a parent of two Viterbi students myself, undergraduates. Therefore, I want to especially welcome my friends, all of you parents, whose love, guidance, and commitment help produce this impressive class of tomorrow's leaders. Now, I would like to recognize the following student who will receive the USC Order of RIT. This award represents the highest honor accorded our graduate students for service to the university. I would like our 2015 Master's Awardee to stand as I call her name, Kaveri Takur from Computer Science. Kaveri. This is some of that. A number of our graduates serve on the Executive Committee of our Viterbi Graduate Student Association, VGSA, as well as serving as Senators of VGSA. Would the members of the Executive Committee and the Senators of the VGSA please stand up to be recognized? Thank you very much. A very special acknowledgement goes to Lawrence Bustos of Petroleum Engineering for his service as the Viterbi Graduate Student Liaison. Over the past year, Lawrence worked closely with the GAP office to address graduate student concerns and needs. He is the operations officer for the Army ROTC Trojan Battalion Alpha Company and is commissioning as a second lieutenant. Congratulations, Lawrence. No matter what you studied, and what, what is common to all of you is advancing the frontiers of technology and engineering. I will spend two minutes on a small tutorial. What is technology? I will use the following simple definition. And in order for you to graduate, you have to remember that definition. 
Technology is leveraging phenomena for useful purposes. Leveraging phenomena for useful purposes. Now, most phenomena we leveraged in the past and will continue leveraging happen to be physical or chemical or geological. Think electricity, electronics, propulsion, catalysis, oil and gas. More recently, however, in addition to that, engineering is also turning its attention to biological phenomena and organism, thus leading to the spectacular bioengineering advances and the intersection with medicine. But we have done one thing more, and technology is now turning its attention and ushering, ushering the era in which engineering and technology are exploiting social phenomena. Think social media, evidence-based policy, behavioral game theory, physical, chemical, geological, biological, social phenomena. This is the new canvas on which engineering is painting. We call this Engineering Plus. It is the picture that you will be painting for the benefit of humanity. It will be you who will build new and innovative technologies we cannot even imagine to solve the big challenge of our time, whether making solar energy economical, securing cyberspace, engineering better medicines, providing access to clean water, eliminating poverty, enriching life. And it will be you that we will count on to address the complexity of technology and its unintended consequences of the useful purposes. It is you who will help advance our ethics and values by focusing on purposes that are useful only for the common good. Thank you, congratulations, and fight on.